so we've concluded chapter one, but wait, this is another video for it. Ha! Tricked ya! The primary purpose of this series is to help those interested in mapping for Team Fortress 2 learn the basics of how to do so. It is important to note that not everyone learns in the same way. This series is just one tool out of many at a new mapper's disposal. I don't want to delay anyone's progress by not having a video out covering what they're looking for. Feel free to go ahead of the series if your learning is taking you there. Here are some resources to do just that. All of these links will be listed in the description of this video. First is the Valve Developer Wiki, specifically the Your First Map series of pages. This is covering most of what I have taught so far in Chapter 1, although I changed the ordering to a way that made more sense to me, and included some concepts that I thought were more important to learn early. And while we're here, the Valve Developer Wiki level design page is an extremely valuable tool in general that is the number one place you should go if you have a question about the engine or a specific entity. If you aren't sure what an entity does or how you can interact with it, give it a quick search on here. My only personal issue with the Developer Wiki is that it can be so formal and rigidly structured that it can be hard to take in at times. Next is a thread on tf2maps.net, Egan's TF2 Mapping Link Resources. This thread has a plethora of useful links and up-to-date information, everything from the most basic mapping concepts to advanced theory ideas. This is a good place to skim through and pick out a few articles that catch your eye and read up on them. Another extremely valuable resource are decompiled Valve maps. You can find a whole list of them here on this page. Note that a decompiled map isn't a perfect replication of what Valve has in their VMF for that map, and things can get a bit buggy. That said, it's still extremely useful to fly around a Valve map and see how they do things. Valve maps are our gold standard for design, so it never hurts to check them out. And on that topic, even just loading up a map in-game and studying them is still really helpful. Whether it's detailing or gameplay design, you can learn a lot from just taking the time to sit back and appreciate how they do things. Load it up in-game by yourself and just explore. Now I've plugged this one a ton already, but if you don't have it, get a Boojum Snarks TF2 Mapping Resource Pack. I cannot stress this enough because it is such a valuable tool for making TF2 maps. Get it, install it, love it. And if you're some kind of jerk that doesn't like my tutorials, I've also included a few other channels that may float your boat. They aren't necessarily TF2 specific, but they have a lot more content than I do so far, so they may have what you're looking for. Jerk. So all of that said, I still hope you stick around my channel here, as I plan on covering things I feel like aren't as well documented as they could be, and I'm going to try my hardest to present things in the best way I think they can be. Thanks for watching.